Slavery has been prohibited in international law for over 100 years, and yet today there's over 40 million people in some form of slavery, whether it's human trafficking, forced labour, forced marriage or child labour. Non-state actors play a major role in this enslavement, but the role of the state is also important. The premise of our research project is that there is a gap in the current approach to modern slavery. Until now, there's been a real focus on corporate accountability, supply chain regulation, transnational organised crime, so a focus on non-state actors. But the role of the state can be important, either directly or indirectly. So what we seek to do are two things in this project. First, to uncover the gap, to show that, that there is a role for the state in the commission or the facilitation of modern slavery. And second, we want to bridge this gap by suggesting methods of accountability, using existing mechanisms, ways to protect vulnerable groups, and to use methods like strategic litigation to expose the role of the state. Based on the analysis of available evidence, we identified five scenarios of state involvement in modern slavery. These include uh, direct involvement through state policy, the involvement of state organs or officials, diplomatic involvement in domestic servitude and the connection of the state with modern slavery through recruitment agencies or export credit agencies. We launched our recommendations at United Nations headquarters at the end of January and we were very pleased by the presence of many stakeholders. We had diplomatic representatives, UN officials, members of civil society and academics working in this area. What we want to do next is to take one to two of the five scenarios and go in more depth. We also want to enhance our interdisciplinary approach and look at notions of heritage and human dignity. We are working with the UN Special Rapporteur on contemporary forms of slavery to seek to understand the drivers behind modern slavery and how we can adapt our current strategies to tackle tomorrow's problems.